Hey everyone, my name is Pixel and I want to welcome you to The Portraits. Now if you remember an old, old creepypasta back in the day, there was a story about a person staying in a house where they always got creeped out by the picture staring at them on the walls. Well, this is a story about that creepypasta, so if you haven't read it yet, sit around, you'll enjoy it. I was supposed to be home hours ago. It was a simple gig, but many hours away in a small town I had never been. A few hours into my ride back, my truck started acting up and I had to stop by the mechanic. I spent an arm and a leg, but it seemed to be fixed, and it wasn't until 9pm that they were done with six hours left to drive. I continued the drive home, but all at once it hit me just how much I had been overworked lately. I was exhausted, and I nearly swerved into oncoming traffic and realized I couldn't make it. There was only one hotel in this town, and it was being renovated, so I had to get an Airbnb. There was only one available, $130 a night before fees and with a rating of 1.2 stars. Unbelievable, but can't be worse than some of the places I've stayed. It was down a long, winding road in the woods. Eventually, the path narrowed so much that I couldn't take my truck any further. I followed the path another half mile until finally I see it. More a cabin than a house, really. I typed in the key code on the lockbox by the front door. After three tries, it opened and I grabbed the key, went inside the shithole, and locked the door behind me. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> it might have low ratings, but you're, you're going to call it a shithole? Oh, okay. Okay. Can I leave? <laughs> I already locked the door. Well, unlock it. <laughs> unlock it, man. Dear guest, welcome to our humble abode. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. You have full access to the kitchen, laundry, and anything in the fridge or pantry. Our casa es su casa. If anything is wrong, please feel free to call us at 681-555-4321. Please contact us before you leave a review so we can earn those five stars. A few house rules, no shoes inside, please leave them at the door. D number two, do not enter the door in the basement. Number three, please take any food with you. We don't want anything going bad in the fridge. Thanks, the Davidsons. P.S. On the off chance that the power is out when you get there, sadly our power company sucks, there is a backup generator in the basement. If it is out of fuel, there should be extra in the pantry. Alright then, well, I, I, can't, I can't get, man, I, I just want a drink. I just want to... This is a creaky house. Whoa. Whoa, that's a nice... That is a nice painting on the wall. Oh, look how happy they are. Look how happy them people are smiling. That's some happy individuals. Oh, look at... Everybody is so happy around here. You know what? It's, it's really nice. Oh, look at you. You know what, I'm, start I'm starting to judge these uh, people's art tastes. You know, uh, I mean, I'm not one to judge, but uh, it seems like a very weird painting, you know, you ask if you ask me. Do I, do I not have a flashlight? Is there not a flashlight to where I can sleep? Is this where I sleep? <laughs> do I sleep down in the basement? It won't budge. Oh, that that's the door it told me not to uh not to open. I need to find fuel to fill it with. Oh man. I come down here and there's no fuel. Alright, well, where am I gonna where am I gonna find some fuel? Ooh, y'all are y'all are right lovely looking. There's there's just there's paintings all over the place in here. I'm exhausted, but I should probably try to get the power on first still. Yeah, really, huh? I need to find out. Where's where's the fuel in this place? You know what? They didn't leave me any instructions on where to find this fuel. So now I've got to go all around the house and look for it. Is it in the bathroom? Is the fuel in the bathroom? No. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Well, good. Oh, good. That's that's good to hear. Okay, the note says there should be extra in the pantry. Man, you know what? If only I knew how to read. 
Okay, so there should be extra in here. They ah, look, they got it hidden in the corner. Now, why are you gonna hide the fuel up in the corner? You know. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna gonna fill up the generator. Got the generator running. This is a very loud generator. Hey, but you know what? We got the lights on. I think it's time to go to bed now. Let's go 99. I'm so glad I got the power running. I can't sleep with these creepy portraits staring at me. I'm trying to ignore them, but it's getting in my head. I'll just rest my head face down. All right, then. We are rested up. What's that noise? What is that? Where is that noise coming from? Hello? My stomach is suddenly killing me. Wait, why, uh... Why is there nothing in that box anymore? <laughs> Flashy. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I need some food. Uh, can, can I eat something? I don't know. I guess I guess I have to go in the fridge. Grotesque and pungent odor coming from the fridge. Okay, well I'm hungry. What what's a guy or girl gotta do to get some food around here? My my stomach is killing me. Okay, that's that's all fine and good, but uh, where's the food? Or maybe I have to poo. Is that it? I have to go to the bathroom? I can't shit with the door open. I get performance anxiety. <laughs> Man, man's got to shut the door if he's got to go to the john. I can't do this with that damn portrait. Who puts these up in every room? Yeah, really. Who does that kind of thing? <laughs> it's like he's staring at me. He's judging me. He's judging me for pooping. Man, I don't, I don't even have legs. But what's going on here? What's going on? I can't, I can't get off the toilet. Oh no! He's staring. Huh? Excuse me. Something just ran through the house and opened a door. Hey, who's there? Did somebody come in here? Hey, something was in here. Looks like it left. I already locked the door. No, no, I, th I think it left the door open because it forgot to close the door. I'm pretty positive that's that's what it is. I'm I'm going to go back to bed now. Good night. It isn't safe to go outside. I will have to wait till morning. Yes, wait till wait till morning with the creepy portrait staring at you. They're still looking at me. What is? Of course, man, they're paintings. They're portraits. All they can do is stare. It's not like they're going to go anywhere. You know that would that would be crazy. That would be a, Is that sunlight already? Where is it coming from? I don't know, man. Maybe the sun? You know what? Maybe the sun is where the sunlight comes. Oh. Uh-oh. What? The the paintings. There's there's nobody there anymore. Oh shit. Where did the paintings go? Ah! 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 Get me out of here! I think we found what snuck in. Creepy. Extremely, extremely creepy. That game had that atmosphere so perfect. Like, even though I have read the copypasta before, 
the creepypasta, I should say. I've read the creepypasta before. I knew the story already, but even still, going into this, it still creeped me out. And it's like, that is whenever you know this game did it well. Like, just how the, how we would, you would say portraits, but no. Those were actual creatures staring at me. Those weren't portraits. They were windows. They were windows. They were things staring at me on the inside from windows. And it's just an ex extremely invasive feeling. <laughs> like the dude said, he can't shit while being watched. It affects his performance. Well, you can't live in a house like this and just be stared at by things in the windows of obviously by otherworldly creatures like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to like the video. You want to see more content like this, other videos I've done, subscribe to the channel. You want to play this game for yourself? I'll have a link down in the description below. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.